полковнице, что Slowly, the big grey wolf regretfully released his prey. It was hard for a wild predator to go against his natural killer instinct. Hunting was a difficult exercise, especially alone, and prey was elusive and not easy to come by. It sometimes took ten failed attempts before achieving success, and not killing an immobilized victim was contrary to all the laws of survival. But Helena was Amadeus's dominant she-wolf. She knew what was good for him or not, and he had to listen to her. He backed off a few steps, then spinned around and hurriedly disappeared into the forest. Helena, who had stayed near Mark, now looked at his face. He was terrified and in a state of shock, and Helena noticed that he was crying nervously. We've got to disinfect the wound as soon as possible, Helena said. Vincent and Virginia came closer once the wolf was gone. I have some rubbing alcohol in my bag, said Virginia. Alcohol really stings. Mercurochrome or hydrogen peroxide would be better, but it'll have to do. The wound consisted of two small points, but bites like that always created a danger of infection and had to be treated quickly. The contact with the alcohol was enough for Mark to get his voice back. He screamed with pain and leapt to his feet. You just wait. I'm gonna go and file a complaint with the police. I'll come back with a rifle and then I'll make a blanket out of your wolf's fur, or better yet, a doormat. He left quickly, along with his little clan. He could be heard complaining at the top of his voice, but only for a few seconds, after which his voice was drowned out by the sounds of the forest. Helena turned in the direction in which Amma had left, and after looking around and failing to see him, she started picking up her things. She was heartbroken to see her sheet music crushed and exposed to the wet ground and the dead leaves. Forgive me, I'm sorry she murmured, as if to apologize to Brahms for the lack of respect she had shown for his magnificent work. She cleaned it off as best she could and then left the forest, sadly making her way along the road leading to her house. 